Hello and welcome to Halo 4 Clans for this special video. Lately I've been getting lots of requests for info on what equipment to use to make a montage or recruitment video as well as I've been asked to on multiple occasions make a recruitment video for a clan. Sorry guys I can't make videos for you guys it would be unfair to those serious people out there who put their hard work and effort into making recruitment videos so today I'm gonna go over the cheapest to the more pricey end of what type of equipment you're going to need to make a recruitment video. Alright, to kick things off, this is for the person with absolutely zero dollars in their bank account. The first thing you need to do is go and play a couple games of Halo, then go back through and take some screenshots, and upload those screenshots to your file share. Next go to HaloWaypoint.com, log in, and in the upper right hand corner, click on your gamer tag. Once that's done, click on the file share tab, then on screenshots, go to gallery view. This makes the pictures big and high quality. Scroll through the uh, pictures until you find the right one. Right click on it, then click save picture as, and then save it to a place that you will be able to find it later. The next step is to open the Movie Maker program that should have shipped with every computer that's out there and import pictures in. Then you can add slide transition, captions, and even music to your photos. And that's the simplest, cheapest way to make a recruitment video. All right, guys, the next step up from that is to go out and buy an EasyCap capture card for like $5 off of eBay. I do not recommend using this capture card because it only records with the red, yellow, and white cables and does not have an output cable, so you can only view what, you rec what you're recording on your computer screen in a very small viewpoint with low recording capabilities. You guys also need to use Windows Movie Maker with this capture card. On a side note, if you ever buy a capture card with any capture card, you guys need to get the installation CD and installation key with it because you guys really don't want to wind up up Pooper Creek without a paddle. All right guys, the next step up is to go into the 10 to $30 price range and get a Pinnacle Dazzle. Not much different from the Easy Cap, other than better quality recording and it ships with a free copy of Pinnacle Studios. It still has the disabilities of having only a small viewpoint on the computer screen with no output cable and it records with the red, yellow, and white cables. Although despite its disabilities, I recommend getting the Pinnacle Dazzle because Pinnacle Studios makes it worth not having to use Movie Maker over and over again. Movie Maker is just too hard to use if you want to make a complicated video. Alright guys, moving on up into the mid-market range at $30 to $80. The Ruxio Game Capture. I found out about this capture card off a Rooster Teeth advertisement. I believe it was in one of their podcasts. I'm not really sure. So you guys know this capture card really has to be good. I really like this capture card. It uses the HD RGB cables and it comes with its own editing software. With none of the disabilities of the other capture cards, it has a large on-screen viewpoint as well as output cables so you can view it on your TV as you're recording it. I must say that the editing software is pretty decent and it has tons of effects and abilities to trim and add music, make video overlays, add text, upload directly to YouTube. It's a very nice capture card and well worth the price to stomp out the competition. All right, guys, on to the higher end of the market at the $80 to the $120 price range. It is the Hapage HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. This bad boy records in HDMI 1080p with no weaknesses. This is one of the best capture cards on the market and does come with its own editing software from Acrosoft. Although I do have to say I recommend getting an alternate editing program like Sony Vegas, which is what I use with my Hapage. Or you could go to the next step and get an Adobe product like After Effects, Adobe Premiere, something like that. The only piece of advice I offer for you guys on this capture card is that you keep the warranty because you guys will use it over and over again until you burn out its cooling systems. I know this because I have already gone through two of them. But with that being said, I will still never go back to any other capture card because I love this capture card that fucking much. All right, guys, that's all the advice I can give you. I got to keep some secrets hidden away for myself. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to send in those Clan of the Day applications. Even if you've sent one in before, I may have overlooked it in the past. This has been Halo 4 Clans, signing out.